Hey folks, TechNivers here. Be sure to reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and give that notification bell a good first layer squish. Today's video, we're going to be learning how to make our own Kira infill. We can design it ourselves. It uses a WKT file, which stands for well-known text. It's basically a series of geometric points plotted in a manner that the extension is able to read, which is the WKT file. So before we can get into this, uh, we're going to actually have to download the extension. I already have it, but I'll show you where it is here. All I have to do is type tile, and it'll be the only one that shows up. This is it, Kira Engine Tiled Infill Generation. And go ahead and install it and restart your Kira, and we will go from there. First, this video is brought to you by my favorite Bitcoin faucet, freebitco.in. Take your chances and roll the faucet for up to $200 in free Bitcoin every hour. Link to the site is in the description. Stay tuned later in the video to see how it works and all the cool stuff you can do with your payouts, including easy withdrawals. So now that we have the plugin installed, let's take a look at the documentation because there's some very interesting things in here that uh, led me to be able to, whoop, I clicked on the wrong link, led me to be able to figure out what I needed to uh, do to get my own uh, infill here. So visit the plugin website. We're going to look at the readme. And it's right here. And it is very simply put, it says you create your own infill tiles by adding WKT files to the Kira Engine tiled infill tiled folders when you are ready, and even if it's already installed in Kira. So it does also say that the plugin is exper experimental and adding custom infills is not possible at the moment. That's not true. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Basically, what we're going to do is let's go in here in Kira, and I'll show you. These are all of the infills that I have. The new infills you get from this extension will show up here, and they're going to be the uh, fill, the Kira, the continuous honeycomb, and the honeycomb. Okay, um, and they're really, really simple. I don't like. I, I like the cool uh, custom Kira one. We'll show you here real quick, but. Uh, with it not being a continuous line, it causes more time on your print. Basically, your infill is, it's got to lift and move and lift and move and extrude and stop. So you can see the little gaps here. But it is really cool and very, very easy to tell what it is. A little bit better than mine, in fact, the one I just showed you. Um, but I did do a couple more. And I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So basically, we're going to go over here. And this site lists a bunch of different ways to write a well-known text file. And I will say, I did try this a couple different ways. I went to a couple WKT makers online and tried just pulling my polygons in. A lot of times they had decimal points and they had commas here. Um, when we look at our files, I'll show you what one of these looks like. There are commas in between the points in a particular line string or whatever, but not in between polygons and line strings themselves. So these comments here were causing it to crash when I try to, so these commas, excuse me, were causing it to crash when I try to slice. So um, basically, this first bounding box, and we can just get a, let me show you an example here. I'm gonna pull up this one, okay? This is the one that you just saw at the beginning of the video that was sliced and showed the T inside the hexagon. So uh, we're gonna erase everything other than this first line here. I'm going to hit File, Save. Since it has already loaded the list and this one was on the list, it does still show up in here. So if I change the file and save it and then load it and slice it, it's a pretty good way to edit something on the fly and see if what you're trying to do is working. So um, let's let it slice here. And you can see it is completely empty. Now I do have a polygon in here. So what's going on here? Well, basically, this first polygon is setting the parameters of the tile itself. So I tend to leave this one because it is a hex. Once we get into how to get the extra files from their, their GitHub page, uh, you'll see that there are a couple different formats. It's always the first line. Uh, but if I copy, hit Save, and then re-slice this bad boy, it will show us a hexagon, the shape of our tile, and this will be the full surface area we have to work with for this hex tile shape. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so there you go. This is how you get a honeycomb. Uh, people say honeycomb and hexagon aren't the same thing. Well, that's technically true, but I mean, you get the gist of the, the basic shape here, right? So 
you'll notice that it stacks on top of each other as you go up because it recalculates. So there are some variations depending on what infill you decide to use. Um, and like I said, this is really fun to play around with, really simple. I'm curious to see, I've done theme videos before, so I'm curious to see what the community makes of this. And I'm sure uh, Yell Spiker, the, uh, the guy from Kira who actually made this extension and told me about editing the tiles, probably be pretty excited to see too. So uh, let's talk about their GitHub real quick. I'll show you how to get a couple more files and then I'll show you a couple more that I made. And now let's talk a little bit more about our sponsor, FreeBitCo.in. As I said, it's a free Bitcoin faucet that you can roll every hour. Now a faucet is an outlet that gives you a small amount of Bitcoin for free. Usually you get a trickle of coins by clicking or rolling the faucet at set intervals. The awesome thing about this particular faucet is that you can get up $200 of Bitcoin in a single roll and you can roll again every hour. So if you just let it add up, you can make small amounts of money very quickly. Or you can play the multiplier game or bet your coins on sporting events to increase your winnings. All of that and the best part is withdrawals are quick, easy, and sent directly to the Bitcoin wallet of your choosing. So use my referral link in the description below and give the faucet a spin. You haven't got anything to lose, but you can gain easy money. We are back on the Kira plugin page now, and you can easily get to this, like I said, by selecting that extension in Kira and clicking on the visit website or clicking on the GitHub right here. Both of those will bring you to the same site. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the main folder and then in, is it source or include? I think it's actually in Kira engine tiled infill. Yep. And then tiles. So uh, what I did to get these extra ones, like I said, this triangle star star Hexastar and the Flower of Life are not included in the download as of right now. They are going to be releasing the Flower of Life soon, but I actually just grabbed these. I downloaded the whole zip, pulled that tile file out, and swapped the folder with the one that I already had. And I had a little trouble finding it. So let's see here. Um, this is where you're going to find the uh, path to your tiles folder once you've plugged in the plugin. It's going to be under C, users, your username, app data, roaming, Kira, whatever version you're in, plugins, Kira engine tiled infill, and then it's the tile folder that you want to use there. So uh, make that a little easier to see here. Basically, if you get into your users and your username and you don't have app data, you can go up to the little path box, type a backslash and type app data just like this and hit enter. And it'll bring you into that folder and give you access to things that you didn't necessarily have access to before. So um, that's basically the gist of how you do this. So programmatically you're plotting out different lines, different polygons, and that's how you're making your design. So let's go back to Kira. I want to show you a couple more that I made. I did make, oh, actually I haven't reloaded Kira since I made them. So let me show you one more thing real quick. So basically to make the WKT file, my text editor wouldn't let me save as a WKT file. You may have an editor that's able to do that, but I'm just using Notepad because I haven't downloaded Notepad++ on this computer yet. Uh, but basically, all I did was copy and paste, then change the name, right? And then you can click on it and open it, and then you can edit it and save it. Once you close and reload Kira, it will reload this whole folder, and you will get uh, the new ones brought in. So as you can see, uh, just for quick reference, the Foxhead 1, Foxhead 2, and Technivorous Hex, those aren't showing up in here yet. So let's go ahead and close this down, and we will reopen it, and I will show you where they are. And we are back, it's still booting up here, but I do got my model dragged in. We're gonna go to the infill section. And as you can see, question is still there. If I slice that, it'll at least show me the same hex because I haven't edited it at all, but I do have some new designs. Let's check out Technivorous Hex first. It's basically a hexagon with a T in it. Doesn't serve any purpose. I just think it's cool to have something custom. And I think I'm gonna do a Superman logo um, and some other cool stuff. So stick around for that. Slicing failed with an unexpected error. That means that I did something wrong with the file. Hmm, but I'm not seeing any issues with the formatting. So, 
Um, let's check out... So, I'm going to copy all of this, show you how I came across all this. Paste, file, save, because I did have this slicing. So I saved it to my question, which is what I'm using for pretty much everything. All right, so uh, it worked. So not sure about all of the exact uh, connotations in here. So I think maybe this isn't working because I have a space in the name uh, because the exact same text works in an all lowercase. Actually, I think those are all supposed to be all lowercase because it capitalizes them in here. Let's try the Foxhead one. And if that doesn't work, we'll, we'll rename them and then save them as <laughs> properly named files. In fact, I'm going to go rename that one right now. Fox had worked just fine. And again, this is one of those ones that isn't connected. So I decided to make a larger version. This one has a line I don't like through the middle, but you should still be able to tell what it is. So the capital letter didn't affect it. Let's just say tech. Okay, uh, and so here's our interconnected fox head. And if we go through the path, you can actually see the way that it's doing this, which is kind of cool. So you can get an idea of how your geometry is actually printed. Uh, I do want to real quick check and make sure that there was that the naming format that was messing with my file. So I've changed the name to just be Technivorous and reload it again. So now it says Tech. Let's slice it, see if it works this time. Okay, so you got to watch out for your naming conventions. Obviously, don't put any spaces in the name. I did have capital letters and numbers in a few of these, and they worked just fine. Um, this is my new Technivorous infill that I will be using pretty much as a standard for a lot of things until I until I get that Superman going. I think I'm gonna do a lot of Superman infill, but uh, that's gonna take a little bit of work to get the tile exactly where I want it. There are a few other YouTubers, most of them really, really small, that know about this trick. Um, definitely look around, see if you can find other videos and other tiles. I will make my tiles available on GitHub if you wanna grab them and pull them into your tiles folder. If you make anything cool, drop a link in the comments down below. I don't normally approve links on videos, but I think on this one I will. If you have uh, some tiles you'd like to share through GitHub, feel free. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope it was cool. Plan on seeing a couple more videos on this infill tile generator program because, or this extension, because I'm going to be doing um, a few more tiles. And I want to really experiment with uh, uh, what can be done fast and also uh, what affects the structure of the model itself or its strength. So there should be some pretty interesting details in there. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, FreeBitCo.in. I put a referral link down below. If you could go ahead and click on that, it would help me out quite a bit. And you can get some free Bitcoin. And I will see you in the next one.